this one is 2.17 here there is a very stiff horizontal member which is right here and this is supported by two vertical steel rods one on this side one on the other side and there is a load of 120 kilo newton supplied at point B right here we need to find out the deflection at point B so let's draw the free body diagram of this horizontal bar so there is a force 120 going this way and because of these two members there will be this tension force here F1 and F2 so from the force balance equation we can write down F1 plus F2 is equals to 120 kilo newtons and if you do moment balance about let's say this first point here this one then your 120 times 375 mm is going to be F2 times 375 from here and 300 so 675 there. from these equations I can solve the value of F1 and F2 your F1 is 53.3 kilo newtons and F2 is 66.7 kilo newtons now once we have these forces we can go and calculate the deformation using Hooke's law so your delta 1 is going to be F1 L1 divided by E1 A1 this is for this member right here so your delta 1 with the force value of 53.3 kilo newtons length here is 2 meters elastic modulus 205 for steel and your cross section area here is 625 millimeter square so if you do the calculation your delta 1 value is 0 0.83 millimeters and similarly we can do delta 2 by changing the value of force to F2 length 2.7 so 66.7 times 2.7 meters divided by 205 gigapascals and cross section area is 1250 if you do this calculation your delta 2 value is 0 0.7 millimeters so now you can see that after deformation the deformation at point A is slightly more than point B so if I draw these separately here so this is your delta 1 this is your delta 2 let's say this is point B this is 375 this is 300 so using similar triangles from here we can find out delta B is going to be delta 2 plus delta 1 minus delta 2 that's the difference between these two displacements and since it is sitting at a distance of 300 mm from this side and the total distance is 675 so with this interpolation we can get the value of delta B which is 0 0.76 mm.